evening and welcome to another Skylark Soundbite. Voices. I don't know about you, but I found that there's been an awful lot of voices at the moment. There are global, political and health voices. There are national voices, those in power and those in opposition. There are thought leaders, world leaders, movement leaders, columnists, opinion pieces, influencers, comedians, and the list goes on and on and on. Even personally, the voices come thick and fast. Zoom calls, WhatsApp groups, Facebook posts. And in order to be heard, everyone needs to shout louder and louder. And the noise level continues to rise. I'm usually a big proponent of hearing lots of voices, especially from people I disagree with, because I think it helps us to challenge our own views, to stay informed and to keep us humble. But at the moment, the voices and the messages seem to change so regularly that I've kind of tried to have a bit of time out from some of it. I know I'm not the only one that's been feeling this way. The problem is that even in the silence, there can still be voices. The voice that says, give up, lose hope, this will never end. The voice that says, you're not good enough, you're not doing enough, you'll never be enough. The voice that makes comparisons to what the person is doing next to you. So I've taken to, to reading some C.S. Lewis during lockdown, uh, and I very much enjoyed a book called The Screwtape Letters, which is a series of letters written from Screwtape, this fictional demon who is writing to an apprentice uh, with advice on how to tempt humanity. And I've read it before, but it's the first time that I've noticed that it's prefaced with the words, readers are advised to remember that the devil is a liar. Whilst it's obviously a fictional and satirical book, uh, the message stands very stark and very true to me. That not all the voices that I hear internally or externally speak the truth or want the best for me. Some of them are outright lies. But there is a voice that we can listen to, a voice that we can trust to cut through the mash of other voices. In John 10, Jesus says, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I need to be making sure that it's his voice I'm listening to, the voice that cuts through all the other voices, to make sure that I can hear and follow the voice of Jesus in this time. The voice that speaks life, the voice that says you're enough, the voice that leads me to understand where I've gone wrong and to change that, but that offers a second chance rather than shame or condemnation. So in a time where so many voices can be heard, can I encourage us all to reflect on whose you are and whose voice you're listening to first. God bless, friends. Take care.